Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the powerful tool of flood fill, which has uh, different variations, and uh, how to re how to create this a brawny broken glass pattern using that tool. Uh, you probably have seen uh, CG ma CG matter matter CG matter tutorial. About how to make such a thing that I've made right here a while ago, about months ago, using Blender, procedural stained glass, very fast and all. So I just thought you can do it in Substance Designer. And as you can see, it's really, really easy and very fast. And I'm, yeah, and let's do this. What you going, what you're going to need is a sales two pattern, or you can. Any pattern like self one three two choose your um, settings i'll i'll explain it later on what kind of difference it may have it may do and we'll connect it to the normal map and to the flood fill as you can see as you can you can add it by searching for it flood fill it's the same thing now, plot fill has uh, three options: simple, complex, or no, no filter mode. I usually go with complex. You can try them out. They usually don't have that much of a difference. So, yeah. so here is the important part. If you wanna color it yourself, just like me, you're going to add a plot graysicle, plot fill to graysicle. Uh, just like searching plot fill. Graysicle. You can add it, and uh, for the flood fill, well, you add you connect flood fill to this first part, and the graysicle, which is the, our pattern, which is cells two, the graysicle input. When you add it, you'll get something like this. You can uh, change it a little bit, as you can see from here, the randomness of it. And then what you're gonna do is to connect the Plot to grayscale to gradient map. I use these colors. You can use any color that you want, and put it into base color. As you can see, your your last input may be a bit different than mine, but I did was just uh, played around a little bit with the roughness. You can see it's about 31 roughness and metallic about 158. You can choose any value that you want. It depends on you. So let's say you don't want to use the these colors. You just want add a texture, add a color with this pattern like this. So what you're going to do is uh, all the basically all the previous steps: roughness, metallic, normal map. You can uh, every single one of them, and with the flood fill, you won't need gradient map and flood fill to grayscale. You can basically delete them if you want to. What you're going to need is flood fill to color. As you can search for here, flood fill to color. We again like the flood fill to grayscale. We add a flood fill to this first part, and our texture to the second part, which is color input. I choose like these two uh, textures. We connect it to base color, and here is our result. You can also change the uh, as I said before now let's say how these uh, changes affect our result you can you can change the scale when you uh, scale it up it feels like a less blurry less it, it feels like the texture itself it it, it added it, it, it adds uh, more resolution more details to our Final result. You can scale it down to something like this. If you want to? That's too much. And also the edge width. You can just completely put it at zero. We get this cool effect. Maybe something like sixteen. Oh, sixteen is too much. Oh, it was one point sixteen. Okay, sorry. So yeah, and you can also disorder it a bit if you want 
can also change look at the another texture just to show you how it feels it's very cool and by the way i forgot to tell you it has uh, some settings in it for the slot fill to color for example the overall HSL, hsl adjustment like the saturation you can change it if you want to or the randomness which is very very cool in my opinion something like this if you want to or the in general the whole picture depends on you you're gonna change the settings whenever you want so as you can see Floodfield is a very very powerful tool very very powerful node you can get amazing results with it but let's say you don't want to use a cells node as your input as your pattern let's say you want to use this one the uh and it's and it's a tropic noise i hope i said that correctly uh, so yeah just connect it to your normal map and your flood fill and here it is you can get some good and crazy result with that try this one in my opinion you can get very very cool result you can also as a, as we did it earlier add a lot fill to grayscale connect them to each other and uh, gradient map you can i don't know like add some colors to it red I, green a bit a white background or something like that depends on you you can choose better colors than me but yeah so that was it it's very easy to use and it's uh, really really useful hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next tutorial